immune system protects us against bugs by producing antibodies against them. These antibodies are produced in specialized organs called lymphoid organs by specific immune cells called B cells. To produce effective antibodies, the B cells get help from other immune cells, specifically from follicular T helper cells within the lymphoid organs. These cells differentiate from naive CD4 positive T cells upon upregulation of BCL6. The TFH cells also upregulate CXCR5 and SAP surface markers, placing them in close proximity to B cells. This allows TCR and MHC2 interactions between the two cell types along with ICOS, PD1, CD40L ligand signaling. In this way, the TFH cells help in selecting high affinity antibody producing B cells and provide them with stimulatory and proliferative signals. Some of these TFH cells gain a memory phenotype, lose BCL6 expression and circulate in the blood. So, if the infection is encountered again, immune system can respond quickly and more efficiently to remove the infection. Aberrant TFH responses have been implicated in autoimmune diseases, for example, lupus, type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis. They have also been implicated in HIV infection and other immunodeficiency disorders. Recently, TFH cells are being studied in vaccination for boosting B cell responses to produce high affinity antibodies. These studies specifically focus on vaccines against HIV infection. TFH cells and other T cell subsets are extensively studied in a European research consortium called Enlighten. This consortium provides cross disciplinary training by using advanced techniques and analyzing big data for the advancement of T-cell research. For more information on the consortium, visit www.enlight-10.eu.